Hey YouTube family, this wig is giving me so much life right now. If you guys want to see how I got this beautiful purple multi-dimensional color, I'm going to need you to keep watching. But before we get into this video, I'm going to need you to go down below and click the subscribe button and join this family. Stay tuned for all this slayage. Okay guys, so in order to dye my hair, I'm going to be using the watercolor method. So I have a bucket, I have my desired colors, and I have a 613 lace closure 22 inch wig. I'm going to link the wig down below. Um, I got it from AliExpress. I do not like the quality, initial quality of this wig, but let's see how it goes through the process and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on this wig at the end. The key to perfect water color is hot boiling water. So here I'm just showing you guys my colors. I'm using the Kiss Temptation in Orchid and Kiss Temptations in Wild Violet. I have one of the Orchid and two of the Wild Violet. I'm gonna go ahead and uncap the color and pour out the contents into the hot water. I'm going to show you guys a close up of how it looks when it's in the water so you guys know what to kind of expect. So after I've emptied out the whole container into the water, I'm going to take my white tooth comb and stir to make sure that the color is distributed evenly throughout the water and there's no clumps of color in the water. I've prepped my wig by combing it out to make sure there is no knots in the hair and I'm going to hold it by the middle of the hair and dip the top where the closure is into the water. I'm doing it this way because I want an ombre effect and guys remember the water is piping hot so you want to use a wide tooth comb to push around the hair so that all of the strands can absorb the color. So I'm going to be doing that and as you can see the color is already starting to deposit on the hair. So you just keep doing that until you feel like it's completely absorbed the color the way you want. Keep dipping it out and in so you can check on the hair. Now I'm going to use this time to check the process of my hair. I'm going to go over it with a comb and comb it out to see if I miss any strands. I do like how it's looking so far, but I do feel like there's parts in the hair that can use more color that look a little blonde. So I'm going to go ahead and dip it back in the water to get the desired color that I want. You guys can do this over and over again until you achieve the look that you hope to achieve. So I'm going to let the hair sit a little longer in the water and then I'm going to take it out and start to work on the ends by pouring in the wild violet into the same water. So I'm just going to add the other color, mix it around and start dunking my hair to get that ombre effect. I'm focusing more on the ends and I'm dipping the hair in and out, in and out and checking on it till I get my desired color. I'm going to also be using a brush to comb through it so that all the strands are coated and saturated as I dip the hair. So here I'm just showing you guys how it came out. This is completely saturated and wet hair. This is how it looks straight out of the water. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my wig head and prepare for it to dry. Now 
Now that my wig is on the wig head, I'm going to create a part and pluck the front of the lace closure. I want my lace closure to look as natural as possible, even mimicking how a frontal looks. So I'm going to pluck out a few hairs. Being that this hair is a 613 hair, it has already been processed, so the hairs are pretty easy to come out. The hair does feel very weak, and this is why I kind of don't like this hair, but you know, it took to the color very well, as you guys can see. But as for quality and longevity, I don't expect much from this hair. Okay guys, this is the hair when it's dry. It's super bright and super pretty. You can see it has highlights and lowlights and the lace blended pretty well. Um, all in all, the hair does feel, feel like it's been through a lot. <laughs> And I wouldn't recommend you guys buying this particular hair, but I mean, so far, so good. Um, you, I'm in the middle of curling it up, so I'm going to go ahead and curl these two side pieces. The back and middle is curled, and I'll be back with the final results, so stay tuned. Okay, everybody, this is the final result, and I am loving this color. It is giving me some playful purple melanin vibes like i love it so so much you guys and the hair turned out to not be so bad after all it is feeling a little bit brittle and i don't expect this wig to last long but as for the color it's giving me it is everything right now you guys so you guys can see there's a bunch of highlights and low lights and I guess that's what you get when you try to do an ombre with watercolor but you can see that the bottoms are definitely darker than the top. The top is more lavender and it goes down into a deeper violetish, purplish. I'm going to turn around and give you guys a back view. So it was definitely a five minute dye job, you guys, quick and easy. And if you wanna get this, you know, this color scheme that I got going on, definitely use all the products that I've used and everything is gonna be down below. Um, the swig is gonna be linked down below as well. It's definitely, it's 22 inches from AliExpress. Like I said, it wasn't really my fit best wig. Like when I ordered it, I definitely feel like it wasn't worth the money. Like when it came, I was like, what is this nonsense? But, you know, all in all, it turned out fine. I definitely don't think I'm going to be wearing this rig every single day. So, hopefully, it lasts more than a month. Okay. But, thank you guys for watching. And please, click the link down below. Become a new subscriber and join this family. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I post every Friday at 9 a.m. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs>